Okay, this is for a certain type of event that will come up on Anno 2070. This type of event is called an ultimatum. Uh, if I've done this right, an ultimatum should come up pretty soon. Uh, this is my first continuous game. As you can see, I've already got everything. Uh, which isn't the purpose of showing off or anything, it's just that it's here. It should come up Warning. any second. That's just notification that something stopped working. And if we go see that, this sawmill here isn't working because it's full, because I've got all the wood that I can have. It's down here that we're looking for. You can meet our demands. There it is. Face the consequences. <coughs> Your call. This is an ultimatum. He wants me to destroy the nuclear power plants, or else they will rebel against me. So, to comply no offense, with this, to shut up. To comply with this, you just do what he says. He wants you to destroy the buildings. So I would destroy them, and then maintain this condition for ten minutes. Since it's a 30 minute time limit, I have to do it pretty soon. Otherwise, I'm not going to have enough time to maintain it. If you don't follow automatums, you will get negative effects that will happen. Uh, an example of this, in this case, would be that a lot, uh, all of his population class, which are these ones, Tycoon Engineers, will start leaving until I think all the houses are empty. But after that, we'll, they'll all come back. So at this point, it, I don't really need to comply with it because I've got enough money that it won't cause any problems. I'm making enough money that it won't cause any problems. So if I want to, I can just not listen to him. But in earlier games where I can't aff in in a situation where I was earlier in the game when I couldn't afford to ignore them, I would probably have to do it. Another example of an ultimatum is someone could tell you to do something such as increase the eco balance on an island and if you I don't they'll go to war with you so completing their ultimatum they won't go to war with you not completing with not completing it they will go to war with you so that's ultimatums next we've got underwater buildings. So if we go to an example here, we've got a depot up top to pick up supplies. So you don't need a submarine to pick up supplies from this depot here. And underneath, here we are, we've got one on the seabed for these ones to pick up. Now these are underwater buildings you can see here. This is an aqua farm making algae these can only be built underwater. It's the same as a land unit, it's got add-ons that you need to build in order for it to generate the algae. Uh, it costs supplies to build, that's all the same. The only difference is that it's underwater. And in addition to that, instead of roads, you get these aqua rails here, which are basically underwater roads, which connect buildings, as you can see there. Uh, you can build extra underwater warehouses, like here, like land depots extends the area Warning. of building Production. on these underwater plateaus. The underwater plateaus also have their own fertilities, you can see there. This one has algae, diamonds and black smoker. Another one, but it's the exact same, this one has iron ore. Uh, this one has the nodules. Uh, yeah, so you can see there. So it's the same with seeds, except that you can't plant them and you can't change the fertilities. <coughs> and that cov well, almost covers. Most of the underwater buildings are tech buildings. The tycoons have, I think, one underwater building, which are here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, they got two. 
they need the nodules and they need the aqua farm to make algae. For ecos, you need algae and diamonds as well, I think, and nodules here. So, same thing. For the techs, however, for their food, you need to build it underwater. For fuel, you need oil rigs, which can only be get, which can only be gotten from underwater if you don't have tycoons. For their building modules, they can only be built underwater on these recycling areas here. See this here? You build that on top, and it gives you building materials. That's the only way to get it. They've got these metal converters here, which are for black smoker. So you can see here that a lot of their buildings are underwater based. Especially a lot more of their buildings are underwater based. You can see here under the underwater buildings tab, these are all their underwater buildings. And the techs are the only ones to have a marine, and you can see here, an underwater power station. You can't build, say, a coal power plant underwater. You can't build any eco power plants underwater, so a solar tower can't be built. Can't be built. <coughs> so, to have enough power to supply all these buildings underwater, you need to use the Tex power plants. And there's an example of them here, providing energy for this underwater plateau. And you can trade with these. It works the same as an island, you can see here. It's the exact same thing, except it's an underwater plateau. And that ship here is doing the trading, as you can see. It's moving oil and something else, I think. You can review them here, here we go. It's collecting oil and functional Registering food. Incident at nuclear power plant. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see? Disaster Minor incident, no radiation leaks. That Ohio comes up. Council President's intervention has expired. As I was saying, that comes up quite often, but nothing actually happens. There, I haven't had an accident from it yet, even though I've got three. Uh, the last thing to explain on this, two more things. Sorry, is building for other factions is one. It's the exact same as building for your starting faction. As you can see, uh, this is the faction that I start with, started with, Ecos, on this island. And then I unlocked Tycoons and expanded to this island and built Tycoon buildings. It's the exact same process, almost the exact same supplies being used. As you can see here, building modules, tools and building modules. The only difference is some of their buildings may work differently. For example, the tycoons have different power. They have coal power plants. For that you need coal. In addition to this, they have a special excavator building, which you don't need to build on mine sites. So if I build these two here, like that, it's collecting coal from the ground, rather than a mine site. Another difference with building another faction on one game is you need to also supply them with their own building types. So, for example, here they need concrete instead of wood, as you would. Oil spill due to oh, good timing. Oil so, yeah, the ecos need wood, the tycoons need concrete, and that continues upwards. They need steel, ecos need glass. And even, it's even the same with the techs. The techs have their own special building unit, which is carbon, here. So their buildings require carbon. There you go. And since we're here, I can show you the laboratory. You can see here that it builds all kinds of different uh, special items to use. This is the emergency equipment used for the accident on oil rig there, the fire that's just started, the pump, plus all these miscellaneous ones, probes that uh, 
reuse uh, resources like the coal plow will add coal to an island after that you get the academy which is here which is what you use to build uh, more impressive advancements for example if we go down here I can build a super rotor from here it shows you what you need to build it microchips, carbon, advanced turbine prototype and electronic rotor controls the way to get these extra items that you've probably never heard of are either researching them in the laboratory here or buying them from AI initiatives help? here and trench coat also sells them, but I don't have trench coat on this one trench coat sells the very the rarer ones that you can't get anywhere else another way is to get them from s uh, prototype sites uh, we'll do that quickly, if we go to him technology scanner let's have him find free sites so we don't need to find them ourselves and there they are you can see them here down here is ruins. If you send a submarine here, it will find a prototype. These prototypes can be used in the laboratory to make these special upgrades and items. And now we can go here, which shows that the oil rig is on fire. So what I'm going to do here is just save it. Uh, blah. You'll see why in a moment. <coughs> Go to a ship. Oh, I'm not using any ships. This one will do. Uh, I think I've got some stored here. Oh, no, I don't. Well, these are some examples of prototypes I've found so far. They can be given re as rewards as well. So they come up in different places. So if we go to the Ark... Uh, I hope we make it in time. We should do. Where is he? There he is. <coughs> Here we go to my arc. And we take this. I can sh There we go. I can show you how to use it. So you bring the ship down to where the fire is. You equip it and then you use it like such now he's putting the fire out as he's putting the fire out you can see the HP is increasing Production halted. and it will continue until the fire is out there we go disaster averted Oops. now if you bear with me one minute we will return shortly Okay, and we're back to see what happens when the oil rig gets destroyed because we can't put it out in time. In time. So, let's say that we don't have any of these. So, we're trying to make one. We've just got the supplies to make one, the ten tools and the money. So, we try to build that. Development time. Explosion in laboratory. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right, well, that didn't work. Well, that's another accident that appears. That turns up. Now, the reason that the development time is a lot less than it should be is because I've got a lot of scientific curiosity, which means that there's, a l there's enough scientists around its area of influence to increase the productivity time, so which has massively decreased the development time. Now, let's get rid of some of these buildings to show... Ooh. I accidentally got rid of some of the roads there, but never mind. There we go. It's now down to 300%. Development time is increased. Do it for the final ones. And development time is increased again. Four minutes. So when you don't have enough people, you're not going to be able to get it in time. As you can see here. 
five minutes and this will be destroyed before you can get to it so let's just cancel that now thankfully we have got this uh, nine minutes to develop so it's going to take quite a while the damage will be done by the time it's ready so let's get this ship ready you can see here it's slowly being destroyed <coughs> Warning. Production breakdown. Get the pump ready. Oh, I've lost those. Oh, damn it. I've lost those fire extinguishers. I oh, know, I can make more. And carry them over inside the games, so that's fine. So we bring him down here with the pump. Right, it's yep. there we go, it's damaged enough that oil has spilt out. And now building has been destroyed. And there it goes. That's the building destroyed. Warning. Registering depopulation. Yeah, see I left them diseased and they've all left. Which hasn't helped this time either, see. Four minutes. Ten minutes development time. Yeah, so you, you need to get them early if you don't have the decreased time. If we go underwater while there's an oil spill, you can see all the bits of oil here. Which is a nice feature. You can see all the oil. Now what happens is the oil is going to spread as you can see it's doing there it's spreading to the nearest island that you own the nearest island I own is here and you can see that I've got a lot of farms here that are being used for my main island to keep people fed I've got a few workers here for a bit of extra income they're eating food uh, not food fish from the fishery <coughs> and the oil will slowly spread you can already see how much money I've lost because of that oil spill you can see it there it's starting to stabilize but once it reaches the island No, that would be because I deleted all those Hello. laboratories, isn't it? Fire. Yeah, that's because I've deleted all the laboratories, never mind that. New prototype developed. Yeah, I've got the pump. Warning. Oil spill threatens your eyes. And there we go. The oil spill has affected this island in a very bad way. The fishery no longer works you can see here 20% yeah so getting a lot less fish I think in some circumstances it completely kills the fish at least it has during other times I've had oil spills so if we look at the farms 25% efficiency that's a lot less food being grown. You can see the island has gotten very dark and grey and you can see my money has decreased even more and the longer this, hap longer this goes this goes on, the more damaging it's going to be because I'm eventually not going to be able to keep up with the food and my people will get unhappy cause them to move out. I'll lose money and very quickly I'll go bankrupt and lose the game. The World Council President's intervention has expired. So, since we've got an efficient pump, I can show you how it cleans up the coast. What you do is you equip it, and then with a ship in range, you use it. 
like so. Now, the ship will automatically clean up the coast. As you can see, it's slowly climbing. It won't slowly climb up to the positive that it was on, so don't worry. It's It takes something like four minutes to fully complete, and then the eco-balance will return to its normal state. I hope you will help us in this matter. So, he continues to clean up. Must be joking. I hope you won't regret Oh yeah, I failed the ultimatum, which is causing all these people to leave. Which has massively reduced my money. So, the yield's slowly increasing. So you can see that getting this sorted as soon as possible is your best option Just get going and before things takes. get to... Spare me the detail. before the damage done... before the damage is done, you know what I mean? It also... My research is progressing the reason that it affects the money so much is because you can, you can see here the tax has decreased by a lot. You can see here by 15%. So it's here when it should be up here-ish, which would probably double the credits that I'm getting Attention. from these people. Population leaving the city. But once this oil spill is cleaned up, things will start to stabilize again. Why are they leaving? Oh yeah, because of that. Oh well. That won't last forever. That will end eventually. So, continues cleaning up the coast. Also, while these disasters are in effect, positive eco-balance buildings make no difference. You can't build them to stop the negative eco-balance cause from the dark, the black tide oil spill, which we can see here, because it it doesn't register as a negative effect. It will constantly stay as minus one minus five hundred. Uh, it should finish anytime soon now. We shall see what consequences arise from this. Just waiting for him to finish. Registering improvement in eco balance. <coughs> Warning Production halted. They may have changed it so that it does take it all the way down to zero, but in the past when I've had to use it, it got to around maybe 200 and then it was done. Mm, I guess this is a tutorial for me as well. Uh, there we go, you can see that it's already starting to get a lot greener. And... a little bit more to go. Registering improvement in eco -balance. Warning. Production and then data. these positive eco buildings will take effect again. There we go. Rising. Back up to 130. And you can see how quickly it changes. It's getting a lot sunnier, it's getting a lot brighter and greener. Registering decline in overall population health. There we go. And that's that. 
So, that's what you do when you have an oil spill. I hope you find this informative. And I think that's pretty much everything in the game that I've got left to explain. Unless there's something I've missed out. And if that's the case, just tell me and I'll sort it out. So, thanks for watching.